Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And uh, up here on my... Ooh. <laughs> up here on my little mountaintop, looks like looks like Risk and C has built out a little bit. He's got himself a little building, which looks kind of stylishly modern. And dirt platforms hanging off the side. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, you remember from last season his his place was a bit of a royal mess but whatever that's fine um yeah so today what am i want to do i don't have a lot of time tonight to record um yeah uh storage area coming along i think i'm going to put a portal right here need to go into the nether and figure out where that comes out the other side and all that good stuff um not super super urgent but i do need more blaze powder or more blaze rods uh started brewing up potions and whatnot i must have i had some other fish in my pocket cooked fish but i must have ditched it i had some cooked salmon I must have ditched it into a junk chest somewhere. I need to get my storage organized. I need to uh, work on a few things. But let me show you something. And, um, yeah. Ooh. So let's, uh, let's head over to our little community area here. And see what's going on. It's been a little bit of update. As you can see up there. Net Slayer has uh, built out his little farming area, which is actually really cool. I get out here. Hello. And uh, Pirate Cove Bar and Potion Shop. I've actually sort of set up and started doing stuff here. Ooh, it's raining. I left a bed here. I don't know if I'm going to leave it. Uh, health potions. I don't know if these are reasonable prices. We'll see. Uh, nobody's bidden yet, but nobody's been on, I don't think. So I'm thinking five iron each or diamond. I don't know. It seems fair to me. A little space for people to return empties if they want. It's starting to get dark, but let's run over. And uh, we can always use... I need to build a little port here, don't I? I can always use Net Slayer's bed if I have to. And of course, in the savannah, we don't get the rain effects. Uh, I've been fishing a lot. Haven't gotten anything great. I enchanted a new pick and got Silk Touch. So I combined it with my other pick, which was about to die, which is awesome. Got a few cows here. That's why I've got 38. Beef in my pocket, but uh, probably need to get rid of these cows. And you'll see why in a sec. So this is coming along. I like I like the I like the design of the house here. I think Netslayer's done a good job with the uh, using the savanna, the or Mm, pardon me. Sorry. Goodness. Using the orange wood, which I think is nice. Of course, it gets rain here in the in the jungle. And uh, yeah, the house it hasn't changed too much, but we got an automated chicken cooker here. Ooh, I hear a zombie. I don't know how productive this has been. Ah, not doing too bad. Feathers. Feathers could be really useful. Um, added another layer to the community farm here oh we were getting a lot of lag here for no good reason except i think this got a ton of chickens there were a bunch of cows earlier i uh i took some of them out a bunch of sheep so we need to thin out that i talked to that slayer about it because earlier today i was over here and we had 200 entities uh which was a bit much I think um, let's get out of here it's getting dark and it's gonna be bad if we stay let's run up to the house uh, one thing is he hasn't lit up much oh goodness oh, that's bad where are we
Huh. Am I actually outside yet? No! Dang it. Oh, that's, this is bad. And normally I would blame it on my internet, but I think it's just the, I think it's, I think it's too many, too many beasties. Am I actually inside? Let's go to bed. Sleep away the night. Okay. Let the world load again. Yeah, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to thin out the herd a bit. We don't need that many live well Enderman? Where is Enderman? Where is he? I hear him. Oh floating we floating leaves. No, no good. Okay. Um, I don't think there are any pumpkins yet. I would like to have pumpkins. So we're gonna have to go on a little on a little adventure, uh, which we will try. Let's see if I can get out of here successfully. I only have two arrows. Is that enough to kill the witch? Yes. Let's go see if the lit witch is trying to cure itself. Oh, I hear, I hear skeletons. A stick. Oh, and some glowstone. That's cool. Okay, let's get out of here. It's still a little dangerous around here. I've lit up this part of the community area pretty good. I haven't lit up much of this, and I suggested lighting up more of the jungle. I don't know if Netslayer might just like live it on the edge. I'm not sure. Anyway, so, oh, oh, it looks like uh, Riskensi has a uh, tree farm. That's the most dangerous tree farm in the world. Okay, that's fine. Maybe I open a wood shop. I wonder if he would buy stuff. I don't know what, I don't know what he's, uh, he's planning on. Saw him tonight. I should probably have asked. Let's go for a little, let's go for a little sale. So I went on a big sale over that way. Since we're kind of on a very large bay here, um, there's plenty of exploring that can be done entirely by boat. And as we get out away from all the beasties there, see, our network speed should improve. So I just got to talk to uh, Netslayer about keeping the, the beasties under control. And I'll slaughter those separate cows that I have, maybe. Uh, maybe build a separate chicken cooker or cow farm somewhere. Oh, look at all this. Jungle, jungle, jungle. Oh, it's a good-sized jungle. That's cool. I thought it was. Looking for the seed, I went. Uh, I used a mist. And, and started just generating seeds. Looking for something where the spawn was on a relatively singular island relatively close to land with a variety of biomes that was my that was my uh selection criteria oh look at this river into the jungle very nice hi there squiddies oh nice i got we got sheep over here. If I see any pumpkins, I'm getting out. Nice. I guess this is a little jungle island here. Got more cocoa beans. We got plenty of cocoa beans. And plenty of melons. Swimming sheep. Oh, this is beautiful. Good stuff here. So, let's see. Today's uh, Sunday, the 13th I think um, I am way behind on posting videos so this probably won't go up for a bit and if at all I've been looking for stuff and whoa I've been going through my footage and because I have a surplus of recordings I've been uh, 
trying to be a little bit more selective and trying to edit things down a bit more. Not something I've been great at and uh, also not really great at always ending things in a succinct manner. So those are things to work on. Whoa. It's always fun going and looking at the logs when the boat rubber bands like that because they, the server throws out errors when that happens. So, so we're just exploring a little bit. What do I have to talk about? Oh, this is, there's so much jungle stuff here. Why does that look lit up? Um, so yeah. Uh, what's up in the news? People keep dying. Uh, a couple days ago, Keith Emerson died. Keith Emerson of Emerson Lake and Palmer, sort of a seminal 1970s synthesizer based, oh that was weird, uh, synthesizer based super group, prog rock. If you're into electronic music, he's kind of a big name in modulus synthesizers and uh, he passed away. He was 71. I don't know what he died of. Little cave down there, nice. Uh, Douglas Slocum is a very, uh, very good and celebrated cinematographer. Was uh, responsible for the cinematography on Raiders of the Lost Ark. He passed away last week. He had the guy who uh, gave Steve Jobs the inspiration for making typefaces on the Macintosh. Hi, Cal. Oh, I have no arrows. I probably shouldn't be out here with no arrows. So maybe that's uh that's a that's a play play goal here. I need to get some arrows. Uh, who else? There have been a few others. So, oh, different biome here. You got kind of a mix of desert-looking stuff and birch forest and. Plains, maybe. Nice. Huh. Wow, this jungle's fantastic. Okay, let's keep going. So, yeah. Uh, there have been some others. I'm forgetting everybody. It's been a, it's been quite a year for celebrity deaths. They just keep going. Um, AlphaGo, the uh, Google DeepMind neural learning network based. Uh, program that can play the Japanese game Go uh, has now won three matches against one of the top players in the world, if not the top player in the world. I don't follow the world of Go all that much, but uh, I know somebody who does. And uh, the program beat the top player of Europe already, but the top player of Europe at the time was like ranked number 600 in the world or something crazy like that most of the top go players are in japan oh this this is kind of fantastic looking hang on we have to oh wrong way oh this is spectacular this is very cool let's uh i do dislike the fact that you can't strafe in a boat Oh, this is a neat little cove, really neat little uh, lagoon here. That's very cool. And it looks like it's being filled by this waterfall. Awesome. Cool. One of the nice things about exploring by boat is you don't have to worry about the daytime, nighttime cycle so much. You can just, you can uh, wait out the night out in the middle of the water. And as long as you don't, you know, park near a ocean monument here should be okay um what are these just oak trees okay we need dark oak wood and i need i would love to find some spruce that would be super nice because i like farming spruce wood just for wood purposes um it's over there oh that this looks so cool hang on 
let's do a screenshot. Nice. Anyway, uh, so the the uh, Alpha Alpha Go, I think, has definitely proven that uh, computers can play Go better than humans at this point with uh, sufficient artificial intelligence networks. Uh, which I don't know if this is going to bring more interest in the game of Go or less. I don't know. Interesting interesting thought experiment because certainly it's put go in the news which is very cool um it's not a game most americans are interested in or, or aware of even uh but it, it's it's a it's a game i learned the basics of but honestly i have no idea how to play it in a, any sort of a competitive manner uh so anyway well okay world generating Let's uh, sail out here a bit. Hopefully I don't get too terribly lost. I don't have a uh, compass yet. I haven't built one. Largely because the spawn point is out in the middle of the bay. Okay. Um, ooh, lots of piggies there. We don't have pigs back at the at, in the spawn area. I wonder. Okay, so you can put mobs into a boat. It's like a back seat, right? Don't have anyone back there. Now, sometimes you accidentally pick up squids. Um, well, lots of birch trees over here. Uh, it would be... So I could, in theory... And, and when we got the cows in the first place, some of them had wandered into the boats that I had parked on the shore over by the jungle. Um, and I couldn't figure out how to get the the cows out of the boat without breaking the boat or killing the cows. So I killed the cows. Now we had cows to spare, but if this would be a way of transporting mobs without having to do it through the nether, that could be kind of cool. Here comes the moon. See, I just have to stay out of range of skeletons on the shore. And we should be okay. Generate a bunch of train here. And I should have, uh, whoa, okay. Let some generation happen. Watch the moon rise. It's smooth, so we can continue. The moon and the sun will rubber band if the server is feeling any lag. Island over there. Nice. Oh, there's a witch up on the shore up there. Let's not draw the witch's attention. Skeleton just spawn. So it's dark, so stuff is spawning. So this is kind of what I was doing when I was going around. I found some desert area where I pilfered a bunch of sand. I found that village that I talked about. And uh, I need to head back over there. It's quite a ways away. It's like 5,000 blocks. So right now we're we're not that far away from we're, we're not that far away from spawn at this point. Saw me on the shore there. The moon go. And I suppose it would be good to do this with a map in the hand as well. But so anyway exploring the world a little bit see if we find anything interesting I don't know they have too much else to discuss those are floating islands of birch birch forest oh my gosh that's kind of cool is that actually floating they look like it and that's illuminated so there's probably surface lava there cold stuff Oh, I bet those are spruce trees up there. Okay, this might be a good place to uh, pause. Wait for the sunrise, which is still quite a ways off. Or I'll swing back around and pick up these birch trees later. Let this spawn a little bit. Keep away from that skeleton. When I was uh, sailing around looking at the, the desert areas looking and finding the villages and whatnot on the way back there was a thunder there was a storm 
thunder sh thunderstorm, I guess. Hello, zombie with gold armor. What's the difficulty level here? Dif local difficulty, 3.19. Why is it so high? I don't think anyone's ever been over here. I, I guess it starts higher when you have the server on hard. Swamp. Swamp biome. Nice. Uh, so yeah, and I was sailing along trying to keep away from skeletons that were shooting at me. And there was a lightning strike that was super close. And then the boat broke. Um, and so I don't know if I got hit by the lightning. I didn't take any damage, but suddenly the boat just disappeared and I was swimming and I climbed back, swam back up to the surface and no sign of the boat. So it's not like my other suspicion was maybe server lag. Um, I got placed drastically differently from where the boat was so it thought I was out of the boat I don't know and uh, yeah and I ended up having to swim back to an island that I found okay and uh, making another boat to get home so I suppose doing these kinds of adventures having a second boat in your pocket probably a good idea Although I don't know if from a swimming position if you can actually place down a boat. That'd be a good test. Um, another test that I did, just out of curiosity. Whoa, hello, creepers. <laughs> Are you lonely out there? Another test that I did was uh, with hay bales. Because hay bales now, oh, these are dark oak. Okay, good. I should get some of this. Uh, hay bales now break your fall. They reduce damage significantly if you fall onto them uh, from a distance that would otherwise give you fall damage. And it reduces it by like 80% or something. It's pretty, uh, pretty substantial. But I wanted to see if hay bales were flammable. So that, to see if it was practical to bring them into the nether and use them instead of slime blocks for uh you know as sort of a safety safety pad for when you're building and uh, but you know the nether's kind of on fire so it's not necessarily a good place for flammable things and hay bales are totally flammable i probably should have known that already but i didn't i just set them down and lit up the ground next to them and they caught fire so and they disappeared so that was no good um, uh, but, but it's pretty cool because hay bales are pretty cheap resource. A little bit of, a little bit of wheat farming and you've got yourself plenty of hay. It, way more than you need for your animal farming, that's for sure. Whoa, this island's a little bit busy. Or island or land or whatever. Got creepers and zombies wander around the shore. Sun's about to come up. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to know. I guess the other question is, do boats have durability that get used up when you row them? Similar to the way the Elytra has durability that gets used up when you fly. That's not something I'm aware of, but I suppose it would also explain if my boat just wore out. Uh, but I, and I traveled quite a ways, so. So anyway, oops, this generate a bit. So that's, uh, that's all. I'm going to keep exploring a little bit. Thought you might like to see some of what was going on. And, uh. If I find anything, I'll come back, but otherwise, let's call this an episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time on Minecraft Land Party. All right, bye. Look what we found. We're a couple thousand blocks away from home. The 
these are definitely spruce trees. Is this a taiga by any chance? Yes. Oh, hello, Mr. Creeper. Be careful here. I just want some spruce tree saplings. So we're going to chop down one of these. Hopefully we get... It would be nice to get four saplings. I don't have an axe. I want to consider making one. So we've got acacia jungle oak. Gotta have birch, right? Maybe I don't. Maybe it would be good to stop and get some birch. Oh. Like there's a birch tree right there. <gasps> Dogs, oh my gosh. And I have zero bones. Hi guys. Oh, there's another village. Hey everybody, um, just a quick uh, update here. I uh, stopped to get some birch, because I'm not positive we have any of that. Hi, look, and there's a whole pack of dogs here, which is awesome, but I don't have any bones. And, uh, So I got a birch sapling, that's great. Big old hole here. And over there in the distance, I see another village. Let's go run, check it out really quick. Grab the coordinates and uh, see if there's anything interesting here. We got horses, ran past some, there's some here. Spotted horses, those are cute. Little horses. Now this, wait a second. Hi guys. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm going to take some of your beetroot. Yeah, that's right. I am. And there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, because that's, that's just what I'm doing. All right. I replanted for you. Okay. So this is definitely a different village. Uh, let's, uh, this is a weird structure here. Yeah, look at that. Let's get my coordinates. Huh. Quite a ways away from home, of course. But, uh... Huh. Huh. Carrots. See, we have carrots and potatoes from that other village I found. This is a weird little village. Um... Huh. Hi, dude. Yeah, yeah, nothing over here. Don't worry, I'll leave before the zombies show up. Yeah. Uh, I don't see a blacksmith, do you? Am I just missing it? Yeah. Oh, well, that's too bad. Ooh, library, library, library. Um, since I have a silk touch pick now, I should be able to grab all these bookcases. Because you never know when they come in handy. I want to build a second enchanting setup somewhere, probably. So we'll just take these. It means fewer cows that have to die. Okay. Nice. Okay. Um. I might be lost. I might be lost. I think we're I think the boat's back over this way. Really don't want to get lost. Oh look at that. That's exciting. Horses. Yeah, I, I don't know that this is the right way. I might be just getting myself super lost. Oh no! Forest fire! Slava. I don't think this is the way I came. More horses. Came this way because the spruce, but there's this river that I didn't cross before. I might be totally lost now. Which is okay, I think. I didn't bring a bed with me. 
which would have been a very good idea. Cows. But I have wood in my pocket so I can make another boat. No problem. Maybe this is where it was. And I just didn't notice all this cool terrain. Huh. I don't know. Hey, buddy. The dog Bowser just came to visit. He wants to see what's going on. And he might want a third dinner. My wife went out and fed the dogs before she left. But then I got home after she left and they convinced me that she was a horrible person. So I fed them again. Huh. Hi. Wow. Hi, mountain cow. Whoa. Whole herd of mountain cows. Good to know. Okay. I think... I think I got horribly lost. And I don't have depth strider yet. Ugh. Okay. All right. Well... Oh. Look at that. Okay. Um... But as I said, I've got I've got the stuff we need. So we'll just do this. We'll go boop, boop, place that down, make ourselves another boat, and let's go. I don't know where I'm going, but we'll go. Okay, so I so I found another village that was uh, that was kind of exciting. No idea where I am now. Um, I might have come back this way. Pardon that. That's the dog scratching on the dog bed. So we will uh, I'll sail back. I think this may have been the way I came. We'll see. I may be just looking at completely new terrain here. It's starting to get dark. So we will uh, we'll get by. It's not a big deal. And is that the same village? Oh dear. Or is that, that might be another village. That might be another village. It's getting dark, which is dangerous, but I'm gonna go check it out super quick. Hang on a second, whoop. Is this the same one? Is that the one where I took all the books? I think this is the same one. Oh, good. They have a little zombie generator, right? Yeah, this is the same one. Huh. That's right. And did I just get turned around again? I think I did. Is my boat down here? If not, I can make another. But that would be super dumb. Oh. There it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Yeah, I have I have trouble with basic directions in Minecraft. Okay, here we go. Boop. Back away. Let's back away so we save these villagers. In case this is where I come out to make my little village. I would like to build a little controlled village. Oh, hello. Don't go through there. When boats start taking on water now in Minecraft, they just sink. There's no way of unsinking them. It's kind of dumb. Oh, hello. Hello, zombies. Get away from the village. Ooh, look at this. Is this just a rendering thing? It's mostly a rendering thing, but that's kind of spectacular. That's cool. I bet that's one update from a huge pile of sand. Okay. All right. Well, I am clearly super lost, but I've got plenty of food and uh, I can find my way back roughly. So um, we'll, uh, we're not in trouble or anything. I just get to generate more of the map than I expected. So, all right. Well, Thank you. Hope that was an uh, exciting enough update. And I will see you later. Bye.